Hi guys, it's Granny Turner speaking. Welcome to this FS25 news video. We got another of those 25 seconds videos. This time it's about rice and I'll try again to read it to you as fast as the video runs. Wish me good luck. Okay, let's go. Here's a cool new feature for Farming Simulator 25. There's long grain rice and what we just call rice. Here's the difference. After you created a rice paddy, a field deepened for water retention, rice is sown directly in water. Long grain rice, however, is planted before you flood the field. They also require different machines to saw and harvest. By the way, you can grow your rice saplings in greenhouses yourself. Isn't that something? Okay, nearly, nearly. Yeah, the speaker must be rather young and fast. Okay. So let's have a look at the screenshots that I prepared for you. Uh, this is rice and yeah, about the overall topic of this video. Maybe you think, oh, they told us already everything about rice. And yes, we don't really get completely new information, but I know that this information, which is important to understand, hasn't just settled in into a lot of minds. Because I got a lot of questions about it. How is it done with the long grain rice and so and so forth. And even from other YouTubers, they didn't fully understood um, what is the difference between the two types of rice? And now with this video, it is made completely clear how it works. And therefore, I find this video quite interesting and to be prepared for our upcoming gameplay. And I find the topic rice um, very interesting in the week where we will get the information about the Asian map because the Asian map will be revealed in on Thursday uh, 3 a.m. European time. Maybe for you in America it is still yeah it is a nice evening time depending on where you live but for for Europeans, it's in the middle of the night. <laughs> and maybe you ask yourself, why did they change the time for a trailer release? Yeah, because it's for the Asian people. And coming weekend will be the Tokyo Game Show. And it will all, will be all about the Asian, Asian map. And I think, Asian machines and so and so forth. Maybe more Asian brands will come. I would, um, I would think there will be more than just Izeki that we already have seen. And so it, it, it is something like the Asian week. And therefore rice is a very good topic. So, what do we see here? Here we see the long grain rice. And this is the rice. And yeah, sometimes I say Asian or water rice, but I just mean that. I say Asian rice or water rice to make it clear um, of which type of rice I'm speaking. And they, they look rather different. Yeah, and here you see uh, three paddies. So one, only a little corner, but the, in the center we have one. And behind there, another one. And a paddy is a rice field. And with what is very important, it has to be completely flat. That's nothing that they say, but it is 
logical. It can only work with a completely flat field. And therefore in Asia where they grow a lot of rice, um, they have those terraces to have it always completely flat. And that is most important for map makers that are preparing maps for the upcoming FS25. If you want that people can grow rice on your map, then you need at least one or two of those completely flat fields. And in the beginning, I, I didn't re really had this in my mind. I saw, yes, rice and water and everything nice. And then I designed uh, the the landscape of my upcoming map Sommerfeld and I had it a little bit hilly and no field was completely flat and then suddenly it hit me and I thought hey if there's water inside it needs to be completely flat and then I went there and made some fields that were nearly flat completely flat um, because I think it's important for a map for FS25 that the players are able to grow rice. And another benefit of those flat fields, if you don't want to grow rice, is you could use it to build things on those fields. So you transform them to a farm space and it's easy to build on flat areas. So. And what I heard in an interview, not in this video, is how to make those rice paddies. You go into the into the menu, I guess, into the PDA map, and there you can click on the field and then click somewhere um, or do something to transform it into a rice field. And then you get those little grass dams, mountains or so thingies and the level of the field is a little bit lowered and the pump will come automatically when you do this transform into a rice field thingy. And then you have the pump and you can, I guess you can decide when to flood it because after preparing a field like that, you can choose whether you want to have the Asian method or the uh, the American method or the the Western method for the long grain rice. Okay, so now here we have the Asian method. It is flooded the field, and we can see this pump mechanism. And uh, in the distance, we can already see the rice planter. And here we see it bigger, the rice planter, and the, um, yeah, not really foot long, a little bit small, hand long. The hand long saplings are planted into the flooded field. And this is the Western method uh, for the long grain rice and the field is still dry and you saw it, the rice, the long grain rice, with a normal sawing machine, the same that you use for wheat, for example. And I guess this tractor is the challenger that we have seen only from behind and I think this is a brother tractor from the Echo White. I heard about it. It's not officially confirmed. Yeah, but a lot of uh, you guys are interested in this Challenger as far as I know. So now what they say in the video is, I read it to you. Long grain rice, however, is planted before you flood the field. So you could come to the idea, you just go and saw it and then put the water into it. 
I guess this is not how it's done in real life. I don't know about how it's done in the game. But in real life, as far as I know, they let the rice plants grow until they are as big as the saplings, or more or less, and then they flood the water. And why do they flood the water at all? Or the flood the field, I mean. Um, this is to protect against weed and to protect against um, other bugs and such. Yeah, and the, the rice is happy with all the water and the weed wouldn't be happy with the water and the bugs are not happy with it also. Yeah, and here we see this um, harvester, the Asian harvester of the rice, the Asian rice. And before it is harvested, um, the field dries out or maybe they remove the water and either it, it, it depends on how warm it is, whether it just evaporates and then it, it isn't refilled or whether when you have a very humid climate then maybe you need to um, to pump it out or let it flow somewhere. In the end the ground is more or less dry and then you come with this special rice harvester. They are smaller than the no normal grain harvester and as far as I know, you can only harvest rice with them. And here we see a normal combine harvester, uh, the same type that we use for harvesting um, wheat or such. And we ha also have the same header, so that makes it easy. When you have your western farm and you want to grow rice, it's rather easy to do it uh, with to grow the long grain rice because you can use your normal sewing machine and your normal combine harvester. But maybe on the Asian map we start with all those Asian rice equipment and then it's easier to grow the wet rice. Yeah, and here we see the greenhouse and we already saw those greenhouses and I mentioned in a video that I was wondering why they grew those saplings directly on the ground. Because if they do so, they would need to duck out the rice saplings to put them on those uh, tablets that they use for the planting machine for the rice. And I was wondering whether this is done like that in real life. And then I I had a look at Google and I asked for rice greenhouses and I got a lot, a lot of images. And all, 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 all of them grew their rice on tablets. So sometimes tablets that were laying on the ground and sometimes tablets that were uh, laying on tables. But there was never an image where they had the saplings growing directly in the natural ground. So I think this is, uh, but with um, when they had the tablets on the on the ground laying on the ground you had to look thoroughly to see that there are those uh, tablets Ma most of the time black tablets one beside each other on, on the first look it looked like okay they grow it on the ground but uh, with a second look you saw okay it's not on the ground they have it in those tablets and it is grown like microgreens maybe um like sunflower microgreens or um 
wheatgrass. Do you know wheatgrass? And yeah, there are quite a lot of things you can. We we like to grow radish for for eating, and quite a lot of different things um, that you grow more or less on a tablet, and you just water it, and then you cut it when it's still a little sapling and. That's like they do with the rice, but not for eating, but for planting into the wet field. Yeah, um, I was thinking about, maybe I should tell giants about it, that this is not the way they do it. But I think they wouldn't be interested in my opinion about this. But maybe if there is an Asian... Um, influencer with a million subscribers or such and he comes and say hey giants nice that you grow rice but this is not the way how it's done then they would change it I'm sure and it would be fast so I hope that there will be this fantastic Asian influencer that tells them no this is not how it's done okay so here we see them and we see those tablets. Now they are all on those tablets. And imagine how difficult it would be to dig them out of the ground and put them into those tablet precisely. And then you have a hole in your greenhouse and you have to refill it. So it doesn't make any sense to, to do it how it is done in the, uh, in the game. But somehow it's not so important. I think I can live with it <laughs> if they don't change it. So that's about it. The rice. And I'm looking forward to this Asian week with the Asian map. And yeah, if I were giants, I would make Asian fact sheets as well. But we will see whether they do this. Okay, I wish you a wonderful day. Thank you for watching and all the best. Till next time. Tschüss.